Hi guys, this is Ashwin again and this time I'm coming to you with a video on how to uh, install a ROM on your Acer Icon, your A500 or A501. Uh, in order to do this, you have a prerequisite of having to have uh, had uh, routing done on your device. In case you've not rooted your device yet, click the link that pops up right now. That will take you to my tutorial on how to root the device. So uh, once you're done with routing, make sure you get back to this video. So there are two, uh, I mean, two apps that I, wa I want and want you to make sure that you have installed. The first one is Quadrant Standard. Uh, this is more more for a demonstration right now, because one of the main reasons we go ahead and root our device is, uh, I mean, uh, fla flash a ROM on our device is for improved performance. The Quadrant Standard measures your performance. So what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Quadrant Standard before I uh, flash a ROM over this and uh, we will get a rating then we're gonna flash the ROM and run Quadrant Standard over it again so that we can see what kind of a change in performance we get and then the other app that I'm talking to you about, talking to you about is uh, Titanium Backup so what this app basically does is it, it goes ahead and uh, creates a backup for all your data and apps that you have installed on your icon here so that when you go ahead and flash a flash a ROM onto your device, you're not going to lose all your data and apps. So how you do how do you do it? Go onto the market, download Titanium Backup, tap on Titanium Backup to open it, hit Backup Restore. Now select Options, select Batch, and you've got an option over here that says Backup All User Apps and System Data. Just tap it and it'll take about a couple of minutes it'll end up backing up everything and you'll be good to go so what we need to do next uh, okay before we go further let me just run quadrant standard right now okay it's force closing okay so uh, alright I'm gonna go ahead and run a full benchmark and I'll be back once it's done okay it's done right now it's gonna ask you whether you wanna proceed it's just click yes and as you can see my device right now is hitting 1661 as the rating alright so we're gonna go ahead and install a ROM on it right now okay let me just quickly move on to the computer okay guys now that we are connected to the computer the first thing you need to do is click on click on the link below uh, the one in the description and download Tor ROM that's the one I'm gonna be using over here or you could download pretty much any ROM that you wanna do I mean wanna install and download it onto the desktop or wherever you find comes to comfortable accessing uh, once and then connect the Acer Iconia uh, to the computer with a USB cable open up the Iconia okay enough drag and drop the ROM onto the SD card the root of the SD card and make sure that you're dropping it onto the SD card and not the internal storage let's just wait for it to get copied over and uh, once it's done get back to the uh, Acer tablet okay guys what you need to do now is hold uh, is go ahead and shut down your Iconia power it off you can disconnect the USB cable now hold the power button and the down volume key at the same time once again, remember you need to have rooted your Iconia and you need to have installed Clockwork Recovery Mod which you would have done if you had followed my tutorial. So, it's booting up. Okay, this is the screen that you end up in. Okay, if this is the first time you're going to be flashing a ROM onto your device and uh, that is from the default or from a stock, uh, stock ROM that you have after you went ahead and rooted it I would suggest going into backup and okay before I do that the volume keys are the ones that control uh, are the controls right now so you tap down volume you go down and uh, up volume again makes you go up so and to select you use the power button so what I would suggest you to do uh, right now is to go into okay, you know what let me make it let me take it a little bit closer go into backup and restore and do a full backup the first first option do a full backup of your android before you go ahead and flash 
hit on full backup and it's gonna go ahead and back up, back up everything so once you're done with that get back to this video pause it till then okay guys the backup is now complete and uh, what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and wipe the cache partition again go down select wipe it'll wipe the cache it's done now go into advanced and wipe Dalvik cache and again guys make sure you have a, a, a bit of battery left you know at least 50 to 60 percent left when you go ahead and do all this uh, by the way the Dalvik cache is wiped and uh, if you're if you're on a full charge 100 percent battery then go ahead and wipe battery stats as well because this helps you uh, helps the ROM to set the battery right and as in you know display the uh, battery percentage correct uh, anyway let's get back uh, guys when you download a ROM it would say whether it's a wipe version or a no, no wipe if it's a no wipe ROM you can, you can actually go ahead and flash it from here but uh, if it's a wipe ROM you need to go ahead and hit wipe data fa factory, factory reset uh, but to be safe always do this wipe data factory reset I'm not gonna argue with people who say don't do it uh, but then again we've got all our apps and data back up, backed up with titanium backup so it's gonna take like what five minutes for you to restore it back uh, I'd rather be safe and spend that five minutes so I'm gonna wipe the data it's gonna delete all user data so here we go and it's done okay what we need to do now is navigate down to install from SD card hit the power button and of course go down to choose zip from the SD card hit the power button again and if you navigate down you can see uh, tar underscore rom underscore 14.2 zip so that is the one we copied over to the SD card so that's what we're gonna we're gonna hit the power button now and uh, hit install tar rom version 14.2.zip so now it's installing it's gonna take a few minutes so I'll be back once the installation is done okay the installation is complete now again use the volume keys to navigate and select go back and hit reboot system now since the tablet is running on this ROM for the first time it's gonna it's gonna take a longer time to reboot than it would normally so all we need to do is just hang on tight for a couple of minutes more so again I'll be back once the tablet is up so here it's loading up as you can see the horn the uh, what do you say the loading tra animation has been changed thanks to the uh, ROM and we're up so this is pretty much like you know how you got, got the icon now once you bought it so we're gonna do the same setup steps love so uh, I'll just enter my Wi-Fi details get connected and my uh, Google credentials and I'll be back right so I'm signing in right now I'm not gonna restore the data from the Google account because I have, we have uh, titanium backup installed so just gonna hit done and that's it uh, this is the new ROM. Uh, it's kind of based on. It's got a little bit of the features from the transformer. Uh, so I'm not gonna really go into the review of the ROM. I'd probably do that if I have a, have the time for it. But right now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly log on to market. I'm gonna download Titanium Backup, Quadrant, and Astro File Manager. You, you guys just get these three downloaded. Pause the pause the, pause the video right now. Get back once you're done. Okay, I'm back guys. Uh, just so you know, the reason I asked you guys to install Astro File Manager is because I wanted to show you something. Uh, when you install various ROMs, there are there is the chance that the ROM kind of represents the uh, micro SD card in a different manner. Go up. Go up again. And tap removable and micro SD. And you will file or find all your micro SD, micro SD contents inside. So normally with the Acer Iconia, the stock ROM, we, we would be tapping the external SD over here. 
or internal memory to get into both but right now tapping external SD is not going to get you to the external card because uh, this ROM mounts it a different way so just keep going up again tap removable and you got your micro SD there so now heading back I'm going to do a quick uh, quadrant standard score here let's just check that so I'm going to run the f I'm going to run the full benchmark so let the test run I'll be back once the test is done okay now the benchmark test is done tap yes to get the score and if you see right now my device is hitting 3, 000, over 3000 uh, so with the stock ROM we got something around 1600 and with this ROM we get 3000 I know these are just numbers to you right now but uh, they do matter this is the only way we can quantitatively measure uh, what kind of performance we get so that's pretty much it and I really like the wallpaper over here reminds me of Mass Effect if any of, guys, any of you guys have actually played it Mass Effect 2 and that's I mean I'd probably use the ROM for that that alone <laughs> okay guys before we're done just uh, and get titanium backup installed and open it up hit a love okay just hit back all you need to do is go ahead uh, select backup restore dismiss and uh, hit batch and do a batch restore uh, restore missing apps with data so hit run I've not backed up anything uh, so but you can do that and you get all your apps back pretty much well that's it for now if you have any questions leave it in the comment section or send me a message I'll make sure I get back to you as quick as possible um, in the meantime if you like the video hit like hit subscribe you can follow me on Twitter at Cursed Forever, that's C-U-R-S-E-D, the number 4, E-V-A. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.